Hi guys, Kristen Kit here with another Nintendo Minute, and today we wanted to talk to you guys about back to school. So it's about that time of year. It's really sad every year when summer comes to an end and you have to go back to school. But school's fun too. I'm sure you guys are, are enjoying school. But um, we wanted to talk to you guys about games that you would play after school um, to kind of unwind, maybe before you do your homework or have dinner. Um, so we have a couple games in mind. And I know you definitely play games after yes. school. I yes. had a very <laughs> clear pattern uh, during my school years. Get home, have a snack, play some games, and then dig into the homework. Gotta have it was, a snack. You gotta reset Refuel. your mind, ready to yes. do your best on the homework. That is very good advice from Kit, who was a good student. So um, we have a couple games in mind. I'll let Kit go first with his pick for after school games. Yeah, my pick is Attack of the Friday Monsters, A Tokyo Tale from Level 5. It's a Nintendo 3DS game that's available only in the Nintendo eShop. Um, this is a game that takes place in 1970s Japan in a, a small town. And it's sort of an adventure game uh, where you go around, you explore the town, you talk to different people. Uh, the story premise is that every Friday in this town, these massive monsters appear. Um, and you sort of that have to sound relaxing. get together with your friends <laughs> and talk to different people to find out what's going on and what's the mystery behind these monsters. Um, it's a, it does have kind of an intense name, but yeah. it, it's definitely more of a relaxing game. Um, you, 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 know, you can play at your leisure, you can explore, you can talk to these different people. There's some collectibles to find if you really want to dig around. Um, but what I really liked about it is, you know, I got a great sense of nostalgia from this game, and I wasn't—I I was not—I did not grow up in Tokyo in the <laughs> 1970s, believe it or not. Uh, but you really feel attached to the town and the people and the place. They do a great job of making it feel alive. There's great sort of sound effects. You can hear the, you know, the train going by, um, and it really draws you in. So I, I enjoyed this game a lot, um, and I definitely recommend it. It's a great one to unwind with and just sort of play at your own pace. And Level 5 is really known for their great storytelling. They've always had like really imaginative sort of um, stories kind of attached to their games. I'm a big fan of the Professor Layton series, and it sounds like some of those elements are sort of present in this game. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really cool. So that is Kit's pick. Um, mine, if I think about games that I want to relax with, the first type of game that comes to mind is really games that are art related. So I think um, I really like to really unwind by just drawing or doing something a bit more creative, something that is a bit more freeform. So my picks are definitely some of the art games available um, on Nintendo 3DS and even on Wii U. So um, definitely Art Academy is my top pick. Um, that game you not only can draw, um, free draw, but you can also um, take part in some of the lessons they have in the game, which is always good if you are wanting to learn how to draw as well. Um, and the lessons are pretty short as well, so if you don't have too much time before your, you need to begin your homework, you can actually do like a quick lesson and sort of unwind that way. Um, and then another one that I really like is Colors 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. It's in the eShop as well. Um, it's one where you have a slew of tools that you can use to create your own original pieces. You can also browse other pieces by some amazing artists, which I'm always surprised by what people can do on a touch screen with a stylus. It's incredible. Um, and just even looking through some of the pieces that they create are, is really inspirational and sort of makes you want to try, try out your own, um, try your own hand as well at some of these um, art pieces. And then of course on Wii U, we just recently released um, Art Academy Sketchpad. Mm -hmm. So you can actually um, create pieces and share them on Miiverse, which is amazing. And again, another place where people can do some crazy things with a stylus on a touch screen. So um, I think those games are just fun to sort of relax your mind and you can be creative as well and, um, and just sort of want, unwind after maybe a long day at school. So you've seen my work on Miiverse, and you know that I'm a bit of a train wreck when it comes to, to the drawing, so I really appreciate lessons. that Art Academy has those lessons built in to teach you the fundamentals to, to get better. Yes. Um, and then Colors 3D, I've, I've really enjoyed my time with that. It's, it's a very powerful tool. You know, I, I veer towards the more abstracts, and it didn't take me too long to create what I would call a modern art masterpiece. I think I saw that one that you made. It's yeah. actually really nice. And you, you can you know turn the depth slider up and look at your pieces. Why do you sound 3D? surprised? I don't know, because you, you, you set your, your bar so low That's for me, I, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it was very nice. So those are our picks for games to play after school if you need to relax before doing your homework. We'd love to hear what you guys are playing as you start your busy back to school season, so let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.